Hey guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we are going to talk about how we can create an MSK cluster and connect it to an EC2 instance. So first off, I'm going to start off with uh, creating my own EC2 instance and I'm going to be using Mumbai for all the resources. So immediately let's go and launch. So I'm just going to give it a name uh, EC2 instance uh, Kafka because we are going to be creating an MSK cluster and I'm going to go with the default uh, options here so that I get my free tier and I'm not going to uh, select a key pair because I already uh, have one and I'm going to allow uh, traffic from public and uh, oops I missed to select yes okay so I'm just going to select the one which I already have but okay yeah got it and now with that I'm free to launch my instance and okay it's done okay so now let's go to our instance mm -mm -mm. Okay, so instance it is still pending, it's not yet created. So, mm -hmm. okay, all right. So let us uh, do one thing. Let us just quickly cross check our security group to make sure that it allows uh, anywhere traffic from for inbound and outbound so that we don't run into any issues. Okay, so I'm just going to delete some rules, the inbound traffic and add a new all traffic rule that allows traffic from anywhere. Okay, that should be good. And it's done, all right. So now let's close this quickly and go to, okay, outbound is fine. And I'm going to close this. Okay, it's up and running and I'm going to copy the public address. So I'm going to connect to my EC2 using uh, SSH and the command is really simple. I'm going to leave it down in the description as well. And I'm going to mention my keypad file if you are using your keypad for the first first time you might have to change your uh, permissions uh, you just have to change your mode to 600 and everything should work fine just uh, as it is for me and that's it we are inside our ec2 okay uh, so now i'm gonna start out by installing java first so we need a couple of things java is what runs our kafka so we have to install java before we install kafka and to install Kafka, I'm just going to go to the Kafka's homepage, click on download Kafka, click on the version I want. In this case, it's 3.3.2 and I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to use a wget command to download Kafka directly onto our EC2 instance. So we're just going to wait till this is over and uh, should be over any time now. Mm, yeah, it's done. So we can use our wget and we can paste the link that we copied to download our Kafka directly onto our EC2. And this shouldn't take a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's done as well. Now we have to extract our Kafka that we downloaded. So I'm going to use the tar xfvz command and I'm just going to paste the tar file and there you go it's being extracted and uh, again i'm going to check the installation i'm going to go into my kafka directory so every time i say kafka directory this is the directory that i'm talking about and uh, here we have to connect our in msk instance using iam authentication method in order to do that we have to change a certain configuration so we're going to do that now so first i'm going to create a file called client.properties inside the config folder and i'm going to add a few lines so that uh, we will be able to configure IAM authentication correctly. In order to do that, I'm going to take help of Amazon's documentation. So we go to this page. I'm going to be linking this in the description and uh, we are just going to simply copy the configuration mechanisms and uh, we're just going to paste it in our configuration file. So we don't have to create the trust store unless you explicitly want to do that. So as you can see here, we are uh, making use of a few modules called IAM login module and IAM client callback handler. So these things are not default by default uh, present uh, in our system. So we have to download the jar file that contains these modules. So in order to do that, there is a different link that is provided by AWS. I'm going to be linking this in the description as well. And uh, once again, we are going to go back to our EC2 and download the jar file directly onto our home directory using wget. And uh, once this is done, we are going to add this particular jar to our class path. To do so, we simply get the location and we export the environment variable class path. And we are going to specify uh, the jar file, which we just downloaded. 
and with that every time uh, kafka tries to use the configuration this jar file is present in the class path and we would not be facing any errors when trying to access those login modules and iam callback modules okay so that's it for now i'm just going to quickly check if my directory is up okay all right so this is a kafka directory i'm going to go back to my kafka directory okay so now in order to connect our msk cluster uh, using iam we actually need to create an iam policy and attach the same to an iam role so in order to do that i am going to go down again in this documentation and i'm going to copy uh, this iam role and i'm going to create a new policy uh, with this uh, and i'm going to attach it to a role okay so now we have to attach also we have to attach a role to our ec2 instance so i'm going to open iam and uh, on the left side i'm going to click on policies and first we have to create a policy and only then we can add it to a role and we have to attach that role to our ec2 instance so i'm going to click on create policy here and uh, that's not right mm, yeah that's right and i'm going to click on json and i'm going to paste the json that i copied so in this as you can see they have mentioned a specific resource i don't want that i'm just going to use a wildcard asterisk and uh, this is uh, not uh, necessarily wrong because this is just for demo purposes in this case if you want to specify a particular uh, arn for msk you can also be free to do that and uh, with that i'm going to uh, finish my policy so i'm just going to give it as kafka am policy and no need to do anything else and just create our policy and uh, it should be created about now okay i'm going to click it again okay yeah it's done so we are going to create a role that includes this policy so i'm just going to do that and click on aws services click on ec2 because we are going to be attaching the role to our ec2 and add permissions is where you have to mention our newly created iam policy this should load any time now mm -hmm. yeah okay so this is our iam policy which we created and i'm going to click on next and a role again i'm just going to mention it as kafka iam role and i'm not going to edit the description and i'm just going to click on create role and okay we're creating the role yeah it's done we created it so i'm going to go back to my ec2 and i'm going to click on uh, networking no i think it's security manage no i think it's net securities okay yeah security yeah okay modify iam role and i'm going to click on the iam role we selected we created sorry and yeah so now we can see the i under iam role we are having kafka iam role which we just created so with that our uh, authentication mechanism is mostly complete so now i guess uh, all we have to do is go to msk and search for msk and create our msk cluster i'm going to open this on a new tab and wait for it to finish loading yeah create cluster i'm going to go for a custom create i'm going to name my cluster uh, msk kafka okay that is fine kafka cluster and this is going to be provision not serverless and the version we downloaded 3.3.2 and i'm going to go for a t3 this is not recommended for production this is just for demo purposes so i'm using only two zones and one broker per zone and one gigabit of storage and that's it so the vpc is going to be the default vpc and i'm going to be using the default subnets that is available within the vpc in regions 1a and 1b and um, the security group uh, i'm going to use the same security group that i use for my ec2 this is not necessarily the case is can be an, a different security group as well but uh, for the demo purpose i'm going to be using the one that i use with my ec2 and make sure that iam is selected and encryption not going to change anything and basic monitoring and that's it not going to change anything and i guess everything is done so we can just review what we have done and just click on create cluster so this process actually takes some time about uh, 20 to 30 minutes it says 15 but uh, in my case it usually takes 20 to 30 minutes so we are just going to wait till uh, our cluster is being created so in the meantime i can quickly show you how the kafka installation works so i'm going to go into my directory and i'm going to go inside the bin binary directory here you see there are multiple uh, shell files and i'm going to be using only the kafka topics the kafka producers and the kafka consumers so these are the only three uh, 
SH files that we are currently concerned about. We are not going to be using anything other than that in this particular demo. So we use Kafka topics to create new Kafka topic uh, to write to. So the command to create a new Kafka topic uh, goes something like uh, we have to use the SH file and we have to use the option create and topic and we have to specify the name of the topic. So for almost all uh, commands, we have to specify this option called the bootstrap server where we have to specify the name of the server, which we currently don't have it yet. We will get, be getting that once our MSK creation is complete. Now to produce and consume, we are again going to be using different SH files, which is uh, Kafka console producer for produce. So again, Kafka console producer, and uh, we are going to specify the topic which we created above. And again, we are going to specify the bootstrap server, which we will get after MSK creation. And now to consume, we are going to give the same command. Uh, instead, uh, is just a small difference is that we have to use the Kafka console uh, consumer instead of Kafka console producer. And again, the topic is going to be Kafka topic and uh, the bootstrap server is going to be something that we get after MSK cluster is created. Okay, uh, so a small change for console consumer is we have to go and add a new option called from beginning so that uh, we get all uh, the topics and not just the latest ones which are incoming. Okay, so I guess that's pretty much it. So there are a few other changes that I have to make. I will show them later on. So now I'm just going to go inside my config. And um, so here you can see the client properties which we created. So now we have to reference that client properties into these commands which we created. So in order to do that, there is a different command for all three. And for Kafka topics, it goes to something like command config. And we have to mention the path, which is configs slash client properties, current class, sorry, client dot properties. And for Kafka produce, it is going to be something like producer config. And for consume, it is going to be something called consumer config. So I'm going to change this to producer.config and I'm going to change this into consumer.config. Okay, good. And we, the only thing that is uh, needed is the bootstrap servers. So we are going to wait for that till our MSK is being created. So now uh, in order for you to check if the properties and configs are correct, what we can do is we can go and we can invoke this command with the help option. And uh, here it uh, spits out the list of options that is available. And if we can just scroll down to check, where is it? Ah, yes. So producer.config. So you can just make sure if uh, the command which we are passing is actually correct. Okay, so that's what you've done here. So this should work without any issues. Okay, so I'm done with uh, the command line consoles and uh, now, uh, okay, it's okay, it's created. That's good news. So now we have to run these commands, uh, but before we do that, uh, we need to get uh, the bootstrap servers. Oh, sorry, I uh, made a mistake here. Okay, we have to get the bootstrap servers. So I'm going to go inside view client information and we have three, uh, sorry, we have two because we have created two brokers in two availability zones. So I'm just going to copy the first one. It doesn't matter if you copy just one or both, uh, it should work in either case. So now since we have done that, we are going to copy and we have to paste the command. And uh, with this, our topic must be created. The name of our topic in this case is Kafka topic. And uh, I don't know why it's taking time. I'm pretty sure I have not made any errors. Yeah, it's created. So Kafka topic is created. Now uh, we are going to produce and we are going to be consuming uh, this at the same time. So in order to show you clearly, I'm going to create uh, two uh, commands, like two split screens. And uh, now here we have to add the class path variable, uh, remember that we exported once again. So I'm going to log into my SSH and I'm going to uh, again go back to my jar file and I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going back to my home directory and I'm going to export the jar file again under the class path variable. So uh, we have to do this for each command line we pop up. So or if you don't want to do that, you can directly add it to the bash profile path. Okay. 
I don't want to do that. So I'm going to copy the producer command and the left hand side is going to be my producer and I'm going to copy the console a consumer to the right hand and uh, okay. So this, okay, I have to navigate to the Kafka directory. Uh, that's fine, bad. Okay, so CD Kafka and yeah, so now I guess it should work. And uh, okay, so clearly it did not work. So did I miss something? <laughs> from beginning okay uh, i pretty sure there's a typo in from beginning so let me just go back and correct this okay beginning okay now everything is good okay i'm just going to copy the command once again and i'm going to clear and paste okay i guess the consumer is active so the producer if whatever i type in this producer is should be reflected in our consumer and yeah so as we can see i typed hello and followed by world and now on the right we are getting hello world so this is uh, basically how kafka works and uh, on the left hand side is a producer and the right hand side is a consumer so any any topic any event that is produced in this topic will also be shown on the consumer side so that's it thank you guys thanks for watching